producers and engineers are creatives just as much as artists are and they need stimulus and so and I've always been conscious of that like I've always had a multi multifaceted multidisciplinary approach to most things that I do and so it's important to get your input and one of the reasons why the pandemic I think was so tough on a lot of people is no one was getting any stimulus outside of Netflix which was rough um so you know Make sure that you're doing things like you're going to the cinema, you're going to the theatre, you're going to gigs as much as sometimes we are tired and we do not want to. You will hear stuff that will spark you and there's no denying it. So, but also books of poetry. Like I'm a big, I'm reading a lot of Leonard Cohen's poetry right now, Kay Tempest's poetry. These are all things that feed. And even if we don't realise that they're feeding our creativity in the moment, Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter as long as it keeps your brain thinking creatively and your brain imagining and moving forward because imagination, imagination is something that I think we are struggling to find our relationship with generationally because of the internet, because of the overload of information that it has brought. So I think just finding ways to stretch your imagination, going to the theatre if you can afford it, things like that is is it's all good juice for the producing and engineering engine. Yeah, yeah. I think we're at a point where we need to get out of our homes. <laughs> it's, it's, you're totally right. <laughs> <laughs>